In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine multiple compositions into one final motion graphics template where the user can either use a slider control or a checkbox control for selecting a transition that they want to use. So let's take a look at this project. I have four transitions, each in their own compositions. So the first method we're going to discuss is a checkbox controller. I've created a final composition, the one that we'll use as our master comp for our the essential graphics panel. We'll go to the project panel and hold down shift to select the transition compositions and we'll drag them into the timeline. And then in the essential graphics panel for the master comp, we'll select the comp that we created for our final comp. We'll give it a name. And then we will start with the first transition. Now what we're going to do is create a checkbox control for each transition so that the user can either check them on or off inside the essential graphics panel. So we'll select all our layers. Go. So we'll select all the layers in the comp. We'll go to the effects and presets panel and search for the checkbox control and click twice to apply that effect to all the layers. Then we'll go to the first layer, go to transform properties, and then hold the alt or option key while clicking the stopwatch on the opacity property. And now we can write our expression. So you can select the pick whip and drag it to the checkbox property in the effects controls panel. And the way the checkbox control works, it's um, either on or off, so it's zero or one. So in order for the opacity to be 100, when this checkbox is turned on, you're gonna do one times 100. So we'll have the checkbox, multiply it by 100, and you'll see the opacity is zero because our checkbox is not turned on. So if you check it, now our opacity is 100. So now go to the checkbox control property and drag it into Essential Graphics panel. And we'll label this Transition Down. Next, we can select the checkbox control effect, Command C, and then select the rest of our layers and Command V to paste. Next, we'll select the Opacity property and then go to Edit, Copy Expression Only. Select the rest of your layers, and then you can just do Command V to paste. And since we already have the checkbox control effect applied, the opacity expression should work fine. So let's go to the transition left layer, select the checkbox property, and drag that into the essential graphics panel, and then label it. And then if you hit E on your keyboard, that reveals any effects that are on this layer. And again, just select the checkbox property, drag it into the essential graphics panel and label it. And then same thing for our last layer. Okay. So as you can see, they are all turned on at the same time. So if you were to export this Mogurt, the default would have all of these on at once, and you can see it looks crazy. Make sure that you just have one on and the rest are off, and it will be up to the user to switch these on and off. So the next method is using a single slider control. As the slider goes to each number, a different layer is revealed. So now I'm going to open the final composition for the slider control. So you can see I've added the multiple comps already to this composition. Uh, let's go to the Essential Graphics panel and select this composition for the slider as our master comp. So it's best to have the slider control applied to uh, a null object or um, an adjustment layer. So we'll create a null object and then we'll go to the effects and presets panel and search for slider control and apply that to the null object. So now we can start writing the expression. So hold alt or option on opacity property on our first layer. And the kind of expression we're writing is an if else statement. 
So if the slider control is greater than a certain value or lesser than a certain value, the layer's opacity will be 100%. First, we're going to create a variable that defines our value. And we're going to use the pick whip to select the slider control on the null object layer. Slider controls in After Effects, they don't increase in value in whole numbers, so that can cause some problems. So you want to add the math round expression and then enclose your slider in parentheses. So it's going to round up whatever value um, is selected in the slider control. And we'll say if the value is greater than zero and value is less than two, the opacity will be 100 or else zero. Let's add the slider property to the Essential Graphics panel. And we'll just name it Choose Transition Type. Edit the range from 0 to 4, because that's how many layers we have here. We don't want to leave it at 100. If you move the slider, let's see, let's solo that. There we go. So if you move this to 1, it's visible. If you move it to 2, it's not visible. So now we can copy this expression and paste it on our next layer. And we're going to adjust this expression so if the value is greater than 1 and less than 3. So 1, 2, okay. Copy that and paste it to the next layer. Then we'll say if the value is greater than two and less than four. And then our next layer, same thing. Greater than three, less than five. So now four. And now when a user slides this controller, they are selecting a different transition.